Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1874. And do we have an awesome lookup example here? This comes from Patty at Columbia College in South Carolina. And here's a big, ugly data dump from an academic system. And what do we need to do? We need to pick any particular job title, look through all the trues, and then pick out the roles. So for academic administrator, we're going to need to pick out and return administration, advisor, create progress report, and so on. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a data validation list from the column headers. Now here's where I want the drop down. And in data, data tools, I could click that button. But let's learn the keyboard, Alt-D-L. That opens up Data Validation tab to get to the Allow. The letter L jumps me to List because it's a list of names that I want to enter into a drop-down list. Tab to get to Source. Now we click in the second field header, Control-Shift-Right arrow, and then Control-Backspace. Let's click OK. And so now we have our drop-down. Let's select Advisor. Now, we have a lookup value, and we need to find from the column headers the actual complete column. Well, no problem. We're going to look up a column using XLOOKUP. Lookup value, well, there it is, comma. Same list, Control, Shift, Right Arrow, Control, Backspace. Now that's table formula nomenclature. Kind of messy, but comma. The return array, I actually need the entire table, but not the first column. So I'm going to click in this cell and use Control Shift N key. That happens to be the last section of the worksheet that I visited. So it jumped right to the right location. Control Backspace. And because there's the same number of rows and column headers as there are in the table, when it finds a match for a particular job title, it'll just return the whole column. Close parentheses, and bam, there's our column of trues and falses. Yes, there's the word true, but zero is interpreted as false. So we get to use this inside of the filter function to filter the role name column. F2, filter the array. I'm going to select right above role name. This is an Excel table. I see that downward pointing arrow, click. Comma, include, well, that's XLOOKUP, that whole column. Close parentheses, and that simple formula, XLOOKUP and the awesome filter, Control-Enter. That looks like it's working like a charm. If I select Coach, Coaches, sure enough, we got Coach, Create Progress Report, Create Ad Hoc Progress, View Progress Reports, bam, working like a charm. All right, so sometimes we get a messy lookup situation, but with Microsoft 365 Excel and the amazing new functions like XLOOKUP and Filter, the job's not so hard. All right, we'll see you next video.